Hi, welcome to LiveBait.tv. I'm Rose Giles, and I'm sitting here at the Moonbeam Cafe in Kensington Market with Gabe Sawney, one of the founders of the Murmur Project, an oral audio project founded by him in 2003 and his partner, Sean McAuliffe. Gabe, why don't you tell us a little bit about the project, how it came to fruition, and how the idea came to be? Um, Murmur is an oral storytelling project. Um, where we uh, record and collect people's personal stories, personal anecdotes about specific places in the city that are important to them. Why this place is important to you, or um, some particular or transformative event or story that you have about this place. And uh, we record these people telling these personal stories in their own voice, and um, in each of the places where we have a story, we put up a sign that has a telephone number on it, and the idea is that as people are walking around, wandering around the city, and they see these signs, they can pull out their cell phone and call the number on the sign and listen to the stories about the place where they're standing. Places, stories about why this place is important to someone else. I mean, we started the project in Toronto, and it's expanded beyond that now, but it's something that I think has, um, a, like, it, it, in a sense, t Toronto is its birthplace um, for a reason. Um, other cities have uh, a stronger sort of mythology of place. Um, we we have a sense of like stuff happened in Montreal and stuff happened in New York, but we don't really have a sense of stuff happened in Toronto, um, and we just don't have the sense of mythology of the city here. Uh, so um, this we hope is a way to try to help build that back. And how do you choose the sites? Because I noticed on the website you have different pictures, and let's say let's say I had a story about a certain place. I guess I would contact you and tell you that place, and you would you would be interested, then you would put it up. Is that how it works? Yeah, you could record your story on, by, on the phone itself, um, or you could contact us and we would meet you and record the story. Um, we, th in terms of the specific locations, we don't, I mean, we put up signs wherever we have stories. Um, but we do pick neighborhoods to launch in, because it just gives us a bit more, it's sort of some parameters to, to do the story collection around. Um, but it's generally just like neighborhoods that have an interesting, diverse s story. In terms of um, how it got started, did it just start with a few stories and then grew from there? I mean, it launched in 2003, you said, so it's been on, it's been not going on for quite some time. So how has it evolved? Um, well, I guess it started off. Uh, we, I mean. With the um, the partnership that we had with Terminus 1525, we got a great start at the beginning, launching it in Kensington and in Vancouver and in Montreal. Um, after that, we um, expanded it to a few other neighborhoods in Toronto um, and um, had the chance uh, last year to do a little mini project in downtown Calgary. Um, and then this year, um, we've uh, we did a launch in San Jose, California, our first one outside of Canada. Um, and um, next month in November, we'll be doing, uh, we'll be launching it in Edinburgh, Scotland. There's some interesting stories on the Murmur Project right now about the 1940s, walking up Spadina when it was not Chinatown at all, and it was a completely different time. I'm Michelle Landsberg. I'm standing on Spadina Avenue, just north of St. Andrews, and I'm facing north in the same direction I was walking with my parents when I was about nine years old. So that would have been in the. 40s, the late 1940s, and a lot of people don't know that Toronto was really monochromatic. It was an all-white, very prissy, very narrow-minded town. Uh, Sunday was the sacred day. Nothing could happen on Sunday except breathing and praying in church. Well, thank you very much, Gabe. This has been great. It's a pleasure learning more about the Murmur Project, and uh, thanks again. <laughs> thanks a lot.